Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Magicite. Uh, I left you in the middle of this town. I'm going to go ahead and do my standard um, inventory management here really quick. So we've got a couple interesting things going on here. We have a Goldium Great Axe, which is kind of our backup weapon. Although it looks like this Y-Hander is never going to die. So that's cool, I guess. Uh, and then we have this Jelly Blade, which I'm going to test out right now. Okay, so it's got a low swing speed as well. So I've got like this collection of weapons building up basically that are totally cool and all, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to like manage this for very much longer. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell our Golium Great Axe for like nothing basically. And then uh, we're going to see what we can do here with what we have. We have just enough Goldium ore to upgrade one of our pieces of equipment. And we also have enough ironite to upgrade our shield. So that is what we're going to do primarily here. Uh, I am going to use the Jelly Blade. That's just what's going to happen because it does a hundred attack. Actually, no. You know what we should do? We should conserve that for if we run into a big bad. Yeah, I think that's a much better idea. Okay, cool. Do we have anything we want to buy down here? We've got like a couple diamond pieces of equipment. And that would actually be really cool and all, but uh, nothing we want immediately. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so we do have a Goldium Blade. Um, what are we doing for... We might want to go ahead and just upgrade our pick, if for no other reason than because uh, it'll help us conserve space in our inventory here. So let's do that. And... Oh, wait, no. Not Sword Hilt. I'm going to drop you, just so I don't use you by accident. All right. Axe handle, pick handle, Goldian pick. Good stuff. Durability, 160, 160. Not Minecraft rules here. Thank you. All right, cool. That's coal, mystery key. Still don't know what mystery key does. We have plenty of food, so we don't have to be too concerned about that. I just really need health. Holy crap, why can't I just get health? Um, all right, so we need to go over here. Smelt my ores. Sure thing. All right, that's Goldian bars. And then uh, we're also going to need, how much ironite? That's gonna be for that gear. And then we're gonna need three bars. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Cool. And then we'll pick that up and make a new shield. There we go. Sell this shield really quick just to get it out of our inventory. That's HP plus two. So a little bit better, sure. Uh, and then we have three Goldian bars that we could make into a in shield, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna make um, refined hide with that so here we go we'll go find our leather worker he's actually over up here and is there any difference no they're pretty much the same okay so it's basically whichever one i want to see first uh let's go right like this and then we'll do a goldium leather helm royal cap sweet royal leather and that's good stuff right there that is three and six so a little bit of a bump Pretty good stuff. I, I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and sell Elegant Cap. Still have a bunch of this laying around. We got bone arrows currently in our, our uh, ammunition stocks, and I'm wondering, no, that's not enough ironite to really get us going with uh, regards to arrows. So let's see. It doesn't really tell you how much damage you do, so I'm not sure what kind of a damage modifier is on those arrows anyways. It might be just make arrows out of whatever's available. Um, okay, cool. So we want to keep on, hold on to our monster hide. We've got a gold pickaxe. Uh, we can sell our ironite pick or we can keep it in reserve, but really I don't think that gold pickaxe is going anywhere for a while. So I think we're good on that. Sell the vials of poison and sell the raw meat and sell the coal. No, we'll hold on to the coal because we might need a fire starter at some point in the future. Or no, we'll sell it. We're not going to bug out about that. Um... All right, cool. Looks like we've got everything we want out of this. Uh, let's go ahead and move right along. So, still no hit points. And we took a hit. Oh, God, I hate that. That that mask is now on my I'm not using you anymore list, basically. Okay, we're going to kill these guys from a range because, yeah, they have a ton of hit points. I don't feel like messing with that. Okay, not at all. Let's just kill you. All right, and I think I can kill these bats okay. With Okay, they move really fast and I'm dead. Went from the best run ever to like the worst run death in very little time. We killed a lot of enemies though. So let's see what we got in our chests. Lots of points. And bunny ears. Yeah, now it's worth it. Okay, let's go single player. 
we want to do okay we I think I've gotten my fill out of playing Ranger so let's play something else uh, we got Orclops we can try Orclops uh, although powers allow them to aggressively expand in Deep Haven so he starts with no axe so making new stuff is gonna be really hard unless we make a bone axe or buy an axe and that's gonna be the real challenge is kind of not having a lot of outlets for being able to do stuff but let's go ahead and we'll do this one and then we'll give him Unlocking the ability to triple jump. Ooh, well, we're not doing the mask anymore, that's for sure. Um, we're not going to worry about mining too much right out the gate. And, yeah, you know what? Let's just go ham on attack here. That's Potion Brewer and Gatherer. That might actually... That'll be real useful. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, this is our dude. This is who we're going to roll with. All right, cool. So, first things first. Okay, don't die, as always. We do nine damage right out the gate. That's so much. Okay, compared to how we're used to usually starting out things. Okay, two bones is really good. Uh, we need bones in order to actually make axes, so uh, we just need to kind of cross our fingers for having a lot of early bones here. Okay, early bones is how I usually start my day anyways, but, you know, that's not exactly age-appropriate for this particular forum. Uh, let's see. I could be wrong, though. I think at this point I've cursed enough times to pretty much establish myself as not an all-ages friendly kind of podcaster or, you know, let's player or whatever you want to classify me as necessarily. So, either way, no loss basically is what I'm saying. Alright, let's just move along here. We got Super Pigman. Super Pigman is alright. I've, I've heard at least one person be like, why is it a pig? And it's like, actually traditional orcs are pigs. Like, they've got kind of like that moblin quality to them. So... It's uh, kind of interesting that people would be shocked at seeing a piggy sort of... Uh, okay, wait, hold on, I'm thinking. How do I actually make a bone pick? Oh no, you use, you use two bones to make a refined bone and then one bone as the stick and that's how you make a bone pick and then... or a bone axe, I think. Is that correct? I, uh... We'll have to investigate this further once we actually have three bones. All right, cool. So we're doing all right here, all things considered. I just totally wasted a whole lot of pick durability on that, though. Yeah, but we're we're pretty much okay. So I'm not too worried. Okay, we got a uh, boar here. We're gonna kill him really quickly. Starting out real strong. I like that. All right, and then there we go. And there we go. He's dead. Still no... Oh, okay, here we go. So let's try this out really quick. We're going to experiment and hopefully... No, that didn't work. Um, hmm. Oh, it needs to be an actual blade. That would make sense. And then maybe we can attach that to a normal bone. Hopefully we get a normal bone again here pretty soon and uh, we'll be able to test that for real. All right, cool. One stone. Not going to get much out of that otherwise. We one-hit slimes, so they're much less of a threat to us right out the gate. Let's do that. All right, cool. We got the shield ability, which is probably pretty handy. We'll have to test that out and run with it later on and see what happens. Uh, or at least get ourselves into a situation where that would be a necessity. So still looking for just one more bone so we can test out how to make an axe out of bone. Oh, we knocked him down. He's a good source of bone, so we're going to chase him down and put ourselves at incredible risk, and all we got was meat. Meh. Alright. Let's just keep moving on. Okay. And I don't know if wasp drop bones. I'm gonna guess no. But then again, everything kind of drops everything. Yeah, there we go. That's a bone. And we have a bone axe. Hooray! Alright, so we have a full tool set here, and then we can actually start cutting down trees and uh, not having to depend solely on bones for all of our tools. So, still good to know. I guess an Orclops is a good way to sort of present the idea that bones can be used pretty much like sticks for the most part. Uh, although I think only for bone equipment, not necessarily anything else. So, let's go ahead and just chop down a whole bunch of trees. Alright, we're good. And... Pick here. Alright. Whatever you do, don't think about that pick hitting your teeth. Something pointy about it just reminded me of that. Uh, very, uh... Dentist fears, dentophobia, de and I mean, what would be the, the technical term for a dental professional? Or not technical, but like Latin term, so you could turn that into a phobia. Which I'm sure is a thing, of course. Uh, right, first things first, let's find a guy to sell junk to. 
And there's our leather worker, who we will not be needing on this run. We're going to be going pretty much straight um, iron materials. So we have one piece of coal, which we want to hold on to. We don't need the pelt. Don't need the string. Um, and we don't need the monster hide. So that's going to definitely streamline the actual processes here. We actually have enough iron ore to go ahead and make a piece of gear. So that's really, really good. I like that. Um, let's see, we have stone, we have a lot of herbs, and we are a potion brewer, so this works out in our favor. Let's go ahead and, yes, five big potions. Good shit. All right. We have a bone, we have a coal. Uh, we need to go ahead and eat just because we're hungry, which is like the worst reason to eat. Let's see. Uh, but we don't have a way to necessarily cook the food, so oh well. Let's go ahead and go back down to our forge over here. And we're going to refine all of this stuff. There we go. Three bars. That's a, that's a helmet. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Getting us started. This is how it begins. For a second I thought it actually shortened my jump there. And I was like, well, the game is now unplayable. Never mind. Um... <laughs> it's a momentary fear for just a half a second there. Alright, and I think stone is as good as bone, so we'll hold on to this stone until we need it. I'm trying to think if there's anything we absolutely need, but I think that's subconsciously it's my mind trying to tell me that we need arrows, but we absolutely do not. We are good on arrows because we are not going to be using a bow anytime soon. Alright, cool. Let's just move right along here. Alright. And... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna progress pretty nicely here with a uh, sword totem orc guy. Man, I missed my jelly sword already. That would have been a real sweet thing to have been able to totally take advantage of. Let's go ahead and drink a potion here and get a get ahead of the curve a little bit. All right, and then kill you and pick up the stone. That's gonna be more ironite for us. Real, real strong start. In a, in regards to our resources, so I like that. I was gonna go kill that spider, but I was like, it's not worth it to try to jump through all those blocks for a spider kill, no big deal. Moving on, we are gonna kill this pig, and there we go. And we killed all of that. And there's a bee, stay away from me. All right, killed him in two hits, that's really good. And yeah, level up, cool stuff. Might I actually be able to even beat the game with this? I, I mean, I'm definitely getting ahead of myself now. It's like, okay, well, I've jinxed myself, so I'll see you whenever it's game over time. But um, I do feel really confident about what's happening here. Let's kill this guy. Alright. And then we'll kill this beehive because we can. I think it's totally within reason to say that I can beat this beehive. Yep, we two shot them. Especially so easy. Alright. All right, cool deal. And there we go, bone sword's about to break. That's scary. All right, bone sword broke. We're gonna switch to ax and still do an unbelievable amount of damage to them. And uh, yeah, be totally fine, basically. So let's go ahead and jump up here really quick. I want to make a bone sword. All right. And whoop, whoop, there we go, cool could make a giant great axe but uh you know i don't really have a preference for that swing speed and for the amount of damage output that it usually gives you it's not that great so even like the highest level ones are not as good as some of the treasure swords that you can find so i don't think there's any reason to make a great axe for anything i, I mean i could be wrong please correct me feel free to do so at least and uh yeah that uh well i'll, I'll fix my gameplay accordingly so let's go ahead and just murder this boar here all right I'm digging the orc, I gotta say. I'm, I'm feeling really good about how this started out. It was a little iffy at first, because you need to wait until you get enough bones to build an axe. But I think in the long run, it worked out all right. All right. Okay. Cool. So I guess that would be the worst case scenario with an orc, is that uh, you just never get enough bones for an axe, and then you end up slowly running out of things, and you have to fist punch things until you get enough resources. And then that's usually where most runs end up dying. Uh, but... You know, not too bad overall. I think this is working out fairly well. Okay. Unfortunately, this video is almost over. I hate to be kind of a spoil sport like that and bring it up early, but it's like, yeah, I've got about five minutes left. So, Obsidian Sword. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, basically. Yeah, and it's tiny as well. 
Okay, it's that was just the, the screen shifting. I thought, like, every time I swung it, it was going to shake the screen just a little bit. And I was like, that could actually be a major detriment to my playstyle here. Uh, but either way, we're doing an unbelievable amount of damage. Definitely, okay, that might be one of those we put it on reserve for a situation like this. Where, otherwise, we don't want to waste the uh, durability on stuff. So, yeah, here we go. Alright, then we got woohoo! Still don't know what that does, aside from make you jump up in the air and say woohoo. Uh, maybe that's all it needs to do, really, you know? I don't even do, mean to be presumptuous about the intended uh, effects of different things in the game. Maybe that's just a, a spirit lifting kind of moment. Sure, whatever. But uh, then that means I hate it and it's a useless skill. Uh, <laughs> for pure play purposes. But uh, there we go. So, good floor, easy floor. No big deal think we probably yeah we've got enough to uh, actually make another piece of gear and just make the game that much easier to run through so we are slowly trying to get rid of our bone gear here I want to get rid of that bone pick for certain uh, and yeah let's see what we've got we've got gold every kind of axe you could really want and what about this vendor over here more axes just Tons of axes. Axes for days. That's what we have over here. No picks, and that's what I would really want to buy. Alright, let's sell what we don't want. Alright, we got wood. We got enough for a fire starter. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and we'll craft all of these. There we go. That's quite a few potions. That'll carry us for quite some time. We got coal. We got stone. Stone will be a good backup material, so we'll hold on to that. We can get rid of a lot of this wood, though. Let's just do that really quick. And there we go. That gives us 747 um, material there. We can go ahead and start selling bone as well. Uh, yeah. And Oh, wow. We have, like, this weird buildup of uh, HP potions, so we're basically never going to die. And usually whenever I say that, that means we die within minutes of the next round. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a point of refining all of this. There we go. Maybe you shouldn't have refined it, all of that. It wasn't entirely necessary right out the gate there, but, you know, whatever. Say la vie. Live and learn, etc. Cool. Uh, so, now we have Ironite Armor, Ironite Helm. That's a lot of attack and a lot of hit points, and we don't have enough to make a shield. Although, actually, we could just go ahead and make a stone shield. So, let's do that, just for completion's sake here. Alright, full set of gear. Cool. Cool deal. Very good stuff. So, 15 hit points is pretty cool with me. I'm alright with that. Uh, we have an obsidian sword. My guy's looking pretty cool. This is already turning out to be one of the better runs I've done. And uh, we're not that far into it. So, I probably just jinxed the hell out of myself. Either way, that's the end of this particular recording session. So, we'll come back to it and then I'll probably screw it up anyways. Big deal. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, playthrough of Magicite. And if you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time. Have fun.